Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Hanif Ismail bin Hamid And I'm from class DLI 5B And uh, I want to present about this distillation column Okay, so first the introduction uh, A distillation column is an essential item used in the distillation of liquid mixture to separate the mixture into its component Parts of fraction based on the differences in volatilities Fractionating columns are used in small scale laboratory, laboratory distillations as well as large scale industrial distillation so uh, it means the distillation column is a process for isolating uh, a raw material or in oil and gas uh, factory we use a crude oil uh, to become a material, material that we can use uh, like diesel uh, vehicle oil and so on next uh, type of distillation columns okay. uh, so we have two types and the first type is a uh, batch columns in batch uh, in batch operation the fit to the column is introduced batch wise that is, the column is charged with a batch and then the distillation process is carried out when the desired task is achieved a net batch, a net batch of fit is introduced and next is a continuous columns so in uh, what is continuous columns is a uh, in contrast continuous columns process a continuous fit stream no interruptions occur unless uh, there is a problem with the column or surrounding process unit. They are capable of handling high throughput and are the most common of the two types. And normally in the factory, uh, we use this type, continuous columns. Next, uh, this is a distillation column diagram. Uh, this is a distillation column diagram. Uh, this is a uh, is show uh, a part of distillation column, and we have column share. Uh, we use a condenser in distillation column. So it's uh, explain about where the uh, raw material or crude oil is processed to make other usable materials okay so next is a uh, main components of distillation columns okay so first we have a uh, vertical shells uh, where the separation of liquid components is carried out and second we have column internal such as tray plates and or packings so uh, they are used uh, to exchange component separation and next is a reboiler and uh, the function of reboiler is to provide the necessary vaporization for the distillation process and next is a condenser uh, the function of condensers is uh, to cool uh, liquid to cool and condense vapor leaving the top of the column and next is a reflex drum uh, lastly we have a reflex drum and the function is to to hold to hold uh, the condensed vapor item from the top of the column so that the liquid uh, can be recycled back uh, to the column okay that's all from me thank you